Oh shoot, there's a plane right there. Literally that flew underneath. I'm no. taking it out of here, yep. I'm not I'm not risking that. <laughs> oh crap. Where is it? Back. Do you see it anywhere? Nope. <laughs> That's not safe. Well, at least I got that shot though. That Literally, shot. The plane flies underneath it. Underneath? Yeah. Not so, that close though. Not. But like, were you looking down on it? Yeah. Ah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As I woke up right now, <clears throat> I was thinking, what if I did these daily? How would that work out? Would it be entertaining? It probably wouldn't be, let's be honest. I work like every day, two jobs. You wouldn't see much, except for me driving home and getting home and driving to work, getting to work, and me talking from there to there and here back. Wouldn't be very fun. So maybe I should just vlog in the morning, like this. You know, wake up early, vlog a little bit, uh, record some stuff, me talking. What could what could go wrong? So here's the thing, this week we got nothing. <laughs> we got nothing because uh, me and Solomon both, This is, I mean it's the beginning of summer for, summer vacation that is, for the kids here in Florida. And we both work at places where our customers are kids from Florida. And so that's, those are the places we work at which being Bounce and the YMCA, now we have more work to do uh, at those jobs. So we really haven't had time to, to work on stuff. Still, you know, we're still working on the editing process of photos and whatnot. Some of you might have seen that I posted a photo and I deleted it. I didn't like it. I'm gonna go through it again because I, I that was just a little bit too plain for me. I'm trying to switch up, I'm trying to challenge myself every uh, every step of the way so I can make my art a little bit different every single time. Another thing we wanted to speak on was. Yeah, we're doing. We're a photography and filming agency. Yes, we're a. Uh... Yes, we make clothes also. We also want to make a movement in the sorts. We also want to, uh, we want to create something positive. Uh, right now it's just within uh, people that are our age, around our age, you know, helping them reach their dreams in, uh, in whatever way possible. That's why whenever we do the photo shoots, we always try and invite new people, no matter who it is. Uh, if we see that you have some sort of artistic value at all, we invite you. We won't invite anybody, just anybody, just because we kind of dealt through that one time and I didn't go through it so well. So that's why we always, we always kind of urge, you know, if you've got art, if you have a message to give out, if you have a vision, just contact us through uh, Instagram, DM us. Just let us know that you have, you have a dream, you have a vision, you have an art, an art style that you'd like to be known, that you'd like to reach, 
and we can help you with that in whichever way we can you know we're just starting off we have we're broke <laughs> you know like I said we, we work two jobs having a I'm having two two kind of little get-togethers I suppose one's gonna be just for my job at Bounce I want to get to know each other uh, I want to become friends with most of the people I work with at Bounce uh, and two will be a a beach get together where uh, I've come in, I've kind of became friends with the local pizza shop and they said that they'll give me a whole bunch of pizzas for a low, low price. If everybody could bring something. I'll bring like a whole bunch of pizza, some soda, uh, I don't know what else, maybe something else. Mosquito. I just literally flew it over an airplane. How do you feel? We could have died. We could have lived. I know. She could have. She, she could have died. That girl right there. <laughs> We're gonna do that? I'm just gonna call everything she. Yep. I thought I 20 bucks for this dude. And um, the zookeeper in the Everglades. And I, didn't, I don't think I put it in the first vlog or second vlog, the one when we went to the Banner Hotel. Yeah. <clears throat> Just because I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to be that person, but. Because at the end of the day, these vlogs are about seeing who we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to get my keys, though. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, at the lock door. Right? That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because, right, I mean, that kind of, it's just to see what kind of people we are. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure, for sure. So might as well. Um, yeah, bro, because I was at Brooks Burgers the other day, and. I'll hold it. Yeah. Thank you. I went to just go like uh, get a quick takeout. Yeah. And, like I sat down and ate. Yeah. And I grabbed it and uh, I went there and she ordered. She got my food or whatnot. And she was just nice, bro. Well, this is it. This is it yeah. <laughs> Disheveled. That's what I am. Oh my god. You can tell this is a black person's car. You can tell. Just by and smelling it. What is this? You've got a lake in your car. Open the windows, bruh. <laughs> window Look at this. Look at this. Lake. A lake in his car. That's a car. This one doesn't come down? No. Oh. You bro, open up all the other ones. Please. I'm, please. Already, I'm already sweating, man. Please. Oh, please. So the lady was just being nice, bruh. She's just like being very helpful. She's like, get your refill if you want, sweetie. I was like, man. You're so nice. But I didn't say that. I was just sitting yeah. there and I, you know, like you don't give people tips when they just, all they do is give you your food. Yeah. Instead of like actually waiting on you. But I gave that lady a $5 tip and she was very happy. She's like, thank you so much. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, no problem. And I just left. All right. That but, sounded a little condescending. What do you mean? I gave her five dollars, and she was really happy. No, but she was happy. I, 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 I was like, I'm, like, I'm sitting here thinking, what's five bucks? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll give her the five. It's like, I don't need it. Mm. But like. She was very excited about that, and I was like, well, no problem. You're a very nice lady. I didn't say that. Where you going, boy? I just want to look around here real quick. Oh. I don't know why I'm following this Ron John. Yeah. Long gone. He's like, why is this guy on my butt? Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> I want to tell you a story. I don't know if I'm going to tell this on camera. Just tell the freaking story. All right, but uh, you know how I told you about the, the pizza place, the pizza shop beside me? Oh, the Italians? Yeah, the Italians. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Man, all they do is talk all of that. <laughs> all of that. But there, there's this guy, he came over, he, I guess he's like a friend of theirs. His name is Vito. Bro, they're all Italian. Oh my god, it's an Italian this name. Is Vito. I think the owner's name is Aurelio. And, <laughs> and, the, and the wife is Josephine. Oh. Um, man. I am man. telling you, man. Oh, man. Woo, Italian to the max, man. More Italian than your mom. I, where is it? Right next to Shima's? Yeah, right next to Shima's. Right, I, bro, I, I, I want your go. mom to go there just so, like, I feel like if she went there, she'd become like 10 times more Italian. <laughs> and she went there. <laughs> I want to go there now. I just want to hear what they got. Bruh, they're just like, they're like, Vito, so, uh, how's the, how you how you been? How's Because I didn't know what they were talking about, but like, I peeped it out after, after they were done talking. Yeah. They're like, they're like, how you been, Vito? And, and he goes, he goes, he's just like, he's got a mad face on. He's like, mm. it goes like that. I'm like, what? And then they go, 
Come on, Vito. I thought, I thought everything was good. I thought now all the problems are gone. Now, right? Isn't that isn't that so? That's what Josephine says. And then Vito goes, the problems aren't gone. I still have to go home to her. Oh, and I'm like, man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh shoot, does he have problems with his wife? And then and then <laughs> and then uh, Aurelio goes, all you have to do is <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to try to do the accent. I can't do it. <laughs> he goes, all you have to do is not speak to her. And then he, Vito goes, man, he, she's not even speaking to me already. She's not even talking to me. And, and Josephine goes, oh, then the problem solved. <laughs> bro, they're just messing with this dude. Bro, I felt like I was in New York. Like I was getting a taste of New York. But, but New York. just hearing the dramatic stories about, about Vito and his wife. <laughs> oh, I love that, bro. I want to go there. months out of the year, run down to the marina, get in my boat, and four hours later I'm fishing in the Keys, and on the way down, stop at a patchery, snorkel down, and grab a couple of lobster for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Life's good, yeah. Life is good. <laughs>